in parenting, teaching, caring for kids, there are going to be inevitable disagreements and frustrations. Our kids do what they want sometimes, they have their own desires, they have their own impulses, and they don't always align with our own. So what do we do when they want something and it's not the time for it, or you can't do it now, or it's just a hard no? We have to figure out a way to get on the same side of our kid. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you have to say yes? Absolutely not. What it means is that you can have empathy and curiosity and boundaries, all those three things at the same time. So what does that practically look like? Let's say you go to the store with your child and you are going to go buy groceries and you're not gonna buy any toys or special treats or things like that. And your kid comes to you and says, oh, please, can we get this, please? And you can look at your kid and say, wow, that is such a cool toy. What do you like most about it? That looks like that would be so much fun to play with. I'm sorry, we aren't gonna be able to buy that today, but maybe we can make a plan about how you can earn that in the future. Or we can put that on your wish list for your birthday that's coming up next. Boundaries have to happen. It's a part of taking care of children. It's a part of parenting. But when we provide empathy for the disappointment that comes and we accept our child's inner world of their sadness, what we're doing is we're maintaining connection and building emotional resiliency and helping them move through the highs and the lows of life. And we're able to do that together with them.